Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. As you can tell, I'm again at a different place. I'm back at my parents' house. And I know the audio may sound a bit uh, crap, but I barely have anything in this room. So it's a bit echoey. I don't know how to stop it. I do apologize for it. I'm staying here until the 7th. So hopefully you don't have many videos of me in this audio. But regardless, we still have some stuff to talk about with NASCAR. As we know, NASCAR's 10 year deal with Fox and the NBC ends at the end of 2024. And a deal is set to be in place near the end or maybe in the middle of 2023. With that, we have to take a look at our options. Where would NASCAR go with 2025? Well, we do know one thing, Fox will be a part of NASCAR in some way, shape or form. Fox Sports has outright said that they need NASCAR. They have a lot of sporting events throughout the year, but especially in that critical point of the spring to early summer, they don't have many sports properties to be able to fill that gap. And with NASCAR still bringing in millions of viewers on not only on network television, but also on cable, helps a lot with Fox Sports and basically getting as many big time sporting events throughout the campaign. They said that we do 90% of our viewership and 90% of our ad sales from Labor Day weekend through Super Bowl Sunday. We really need something post Super Bowl that keeps us relevant. The USFL and college basketball is part of that, but the biggest part is NASCAR. That is great if you're NASCAR because not only when you look at their ratings, ratings have been going up, especially during Fox Sports' portion of NASCAR in recent years. That gives NASCAR a lot of leverage into two things. Number one, Fox Sports giving NASCAR more money because, I mean, they outright said that they need NASCAR, so of course, NASCAR, the ball is in their court. They get to decide, okay, well, you have to pay us a lot of money, plus maybe put more races on broadcast than on cable. Current at the moment, I believe the split is either eight on Fox and eight on FS1 or 10 on Fox and six on FS1. Uh, around that area in terms of which races go on broadcast and which goes on cable. We do know at NASCAR, especially nowadays, they are heavy on getting as many broadcast races as possible. And with Fox saying that they need NASCAR, the ball is in their court to be able to say, okay, you can continue to keep broadcasting your races, but we're gonna need a bit more money from you. And also just saying NASCAR, if you want to, maybe tell Fox to actually take our sport seriously enough with the pre-race skits. And please get rid of those superhero drivers, they look stupid. Anyways, let's talk about the second half. What will the second half of the season be? Well, we do know it's gonna be between either ABC, ESPN, or NBC. CBS is that where I said that they are not interested in looking at anything motorsports and with them canning the SRX, more than likely, now, a CBS won't be a part of anything motorsports related in the near future. So what's gonna happen between ESPN and NBC? Well, according to someone that is very in depth with how these TV negotiations work, said that more than likely that NASCAR will renew with Fox and NBC. And while that may sound good, considering NBC is the better half, of the two networks, especially when you look and considering how they present a race compared to how Fox does. They're way more in depth. They actually take it seriously and it is very enjoyable to watch a NASCAR broadcast on NBC than on Fox. But what may be different on NBC in the 2025 deal is the races that you will see either on TV or behind a paywall. Expect NBC to win the right to put a number of races exclusively on its Peacock streaming service. I'm saying right now, NASCAR, if that's the case, that's probably the dumbest thing you could ever do. We're living in a time now where barely, if any teams are making a profit, not even the big teams of Hendrick Motorsports and Team Penske. Now we do know, I do know that, you know, the new TV deal, we don't know what the numbers are going to be like, but going to a paywall like Peacock, not, it's one thing if you're going to say, hey, we're going to stream races on Netflix or on Amazon Prime. Makes sense. I mean, 200 some odd million people are on Netflix or on Amazon Prime. I think Amazon Prime just overtook Netflix as the most streamed service in the world. Makes sense. On Peacock, it makes zero sense. Peacock is still relatively small. Even in the United States, it's still a pretty small company. Restricting your eyeballs even more by going to a paywall is horrible business. We saw what happened in IndyCar in Toronto. Apparently, it was so bad that an NBC didn't even release any numbers, which is not a good thing. So to, still to this day, we don't know what the Toronto numbers were for IndyCar, which is a bad sign, saying that more than likely, barely anyone watched the race on Peacock. And even though NASCAR is much bigger than IndyCar, not many people are gonna be willing to pay $5 to go to a paywall for Peacock to watch several NASCAR races. It's one thing to watch a NASCAR race, like, the all-star race, that's one thing. But for several NASCAR races is stupid. Even if it's Xfinity races, it's still dumb because what is the biggest thing 
when it comes with NASCAR and it comes with sponsorships to get your company's logo to as many eyeballs as possible. Going to Peacock ain't gonna do that. Now, the only thing I think could be a good thing about this is if the races are uh, ad free. Those are the, that's the only way I could see it possibly happening. But even then, we, again, Toronto with IndyCar, there was still commercials there. It wasn't commercial free, there were still commercials there. And knowing that NASCAR or NBC is paying loads more for NASCAR, more than likely you're still gonna see commercials aired on Peacock. Even though it's behind the paywall, you're still gonna see commercials. I think this is a very bad decision. And if that is the case, we bring back ESPN and ABC because NASCAR is not ready yet to go into a position where you can go put races behind a paywall. They're not there yet. You can have an alternate option, like let's say Peacock can have a much more in-depth broadcast style like what F1 TV does, or like what NBC did for a couple years during the championship race where they have all four of the championship contenders in one screen, maybe something like that, but to have only races exclusively behind a paywall on Peacock is very dumb and it's a bad decision. It was a bad decision for IndyCar and it's gonna be even worse for NASCAR since it's going to be several races. Practice and qualifying is one thing, but for actual races, needs to be put on to as many people as possible. And the worst part about this is that more than likely with this new deal, let's say, you know, races do go to Peacock in the 2025 deal, I don't think it's gonna be a type of thing where it's gonna be NBC and Peacock. Still, majority of the races on NBC schedule were on USA. So more than likely, you're still gonna see a very small amount of races on NBC, good portion of the races on USA, a cable service, which is something that many people are cutting from, and now you're gonna have some races behind the paywall. The way how it's looking, it is scriptured, it is setting up to be a horrible deal for NASCAR and a great deal for NBC. I know that many people are still a bit iffy on ESPN and ABC, considering that ESPN doesn't care about NASCAR. If you look at ESPN's second half of NASCAR, they didn't even care. I mean, even the ESPN announcers were making fun of the sport. Kevin Harvick for first place. He leads the chase with seven straight top 10 finishes. Old Jimmy Johnson. How about that race car? Turn left, turn left. So I can understand there's still a lot of animosity between NASCAR fans and ESPN. But say what you want about ESPN, the people that actually put on the races did a fantastic job. Watch 2011 and 2014 ESPN covering NASCAR races. It is amazing, the production quality of those broadcasts. So that is the part that I kind of want to see come back, is that while ESPN, the network didn't care, the people that actually worked on the NASCAR races did care. And even though NBC does a tremendous job, I would much rather go to another network that would actually put all the races, especially even on cable, ESPN is still one of the most popular cable networks out there compared to USA, a channel that only WWE fans know. Going to ESPN and ABC would be a much better option for NASCAR to have as many eyeballs put on those networks, especially now maybe with ABC, they can work something out considering NASCAR ratings are going up. More than likely, I could potentially see NASCAR maybe work something with ABC to put more than three races on network television. Instead of staying with NBC, even though they've had a 10 year relationship with them, you cannot put races behind a paywall. Not yet. You're not the NFL. It makes absolutely no sense for teams to continually struggle, to keep on struggling for sponsorship, to then have their sponsorship even further restricted by putting it behind a paywall that is still relatively small. Again, it's not Netflix or Amazon Prime, it's Peacock. It's small in America even. Why do I feel like that's gonna be taken out of context? The only way that Peacock should be a part of NASCAR is if two things. Number one, you have it as like a second feed for, let's say you're out on a road trip, all right, you can watch it on Peacock. Or like, like what they did uh, near the final races of last year where they had a simulcast on NBC and Peacock. You can do that or have Peacock be a more in-depth F1 TV type of style of broadcast. That is it, for now. Maybe down the line, 10 years from now, it's a different story. But for now, it's not ready yet. It's not there yet, especially with Peacock. Again, if it was Amazon Prime, it wouldn't be that big of an issue since millions of people have Amazon Prime. Hundreds of millions of people have Amazon Prime, not only in the US, but also around the world. 
Not Peacock. But those are my thoughts on it. What do you think about this potential new TV deal? Um, I have a feeling still it's gonna maybe go to Fox and ESPN. Now with this new revelation, I'm hoping it goes to ESPN because I do not want to see races behind a paywall. Not yet. But what are your thoughts on it? Tell me in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content. Thank you all so much for 11,000 subscribers as we're near the end of 2022. Really do appreciate all the support you've given me throughout these last few months. It has been truly unbelievable. And I'll try to pump out some more content for y'all, even though I'm kind of away from my station. Until next time, my name is Jet from MDK. Thanks for watching.